My friend Gary was lucky enough to draw an antlerless elk tag in Idaho during the second draw after striking out in the first. The season he drew was from December 1st to December 31st when elk would be few and far between for the unit. Gary recruited our friend Casey to go on the trip and they researched a few trailheads to hike and talk to a biologist. They pull into their first choice of spots at 11 a.m. on December 2nd and are surprised to see a few ATV tracks across the hillsides. Temps are in the teens so they pack their gear and start hiking to a glassing point they've picked out. About 200 yards up the trail, they start to glass and Gary makes out a herd of 100 elk just above the sage. Casey ranges them and they are 1,200 yards away. The guys are in brown clothes on the side of a white hill and stick out like a sore thumb. The elk bust so Casey and Gary make a plan to start heading down the hill to a rock outcropping that should cut the distance in half. Once they get to the other side of the rocks, there are only 15 to 20 elk in sight, skylined with no safe shot. They wait for the elk to disappear over the ridge and loop around about a mile trying to pop out in a better spot. A few of the elk start moving back over the ridge where they spot Casey and Gary. So the guys hit the deck and lay motionless for several minutes. The elk keeps slowly coming. Casey quietly pulls out his rifle, bipod, and rest and hands them to Gary. Then he ranges the elk, dials the scope, and has Gary dry fire while laying prone. It rolls her up. Gary's shot is perfect and the elk drops in her tracks at 590 yards. The guys get to the elk quick and take pictures to celebrate Gary's first elk. Then they get to work deboning and loading their packs to the brims. They pack all of the meat out in one trip which is just about a mile and make it back to the truck right before dark to start the long drive home.